Hello artists, welcome back to another virtual art lesson. Today for lesson 25, our theme is why. So I'm going to teach you how to make a project inspired by an artist whose first name starts with why. You should have already watched the informational video on today's artist, Yayoi Kasuma. He is a famous contemporary Japanese artist who has been creating since she was a little girl. We are going to make three projects inspired by her art installation series, My Eternal Soul from 2009. You can make an abstract piece similar to her style of paintings. You could make some polka dot flowers like the sculptures from that exhibit which you saw in the video or you can draw yourself as the artist okay so this is me in the style of her fashion all right let's say our artist motto so we can be ready to create Let's get started. Okay, to start off with an abstract piece, I am making a border that looks like dripping paint. And then using a top from a container, I am creating circles. I am spacing those out and then filling the empty spaces in with smaller circles and organic abstract shapes. So I'm not using squares and triangles and things. I am using organic shapes or natural kind of shapes to fill in the space. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding color. Um, I did not want to do it all with marker so I'm outlining some things. And when I outlined mine, I did not want the same color shape next to each other. So you can see I'm jumping around with my marker so that the colors are evenly distributed or spread out throughout the artwork. And again, this is kind of in her style that she paints in, which is very colorful, bold, and abstract. Alright, I finished my art with colored pencil. I tried to find colored pencils that were the same shade or close to the markers that I used. So that there's kind of this effect of really dark lines and soft shaping. You could color yours, of course, however you want. Just take your time and remember, this is an abstract artwork, so it can be anything you want. Have fun! could create some flowers like her sculptures. I started with the eye at the center of the flower and drew four petals. Then I made four more petals between from the back. I am still using marker and colored pencil to create contrast between dark lines and soft shading. Her flowers, of course, are sculptures, but I know lots of you don't have sculpture stuff at home. So this is a cool way to explore Kasuma without having to buy clay. I, of course, put polka dots inside my flowers. I didn't make them look exactly like her sculptures, but definitely close to them. 
you can add lines and dots to the leaves as well. Try and see if you can make your flowers a little bit creepy and cute at the same time. Have fun! Alright, for the last option, you are going to find the center of your paper and draw a U. Then draw two lines and another curve for the neck. Then make two more curves for the shoulders. Now she is known for her very straight red bobbed wig. So that is what I am drawing in this portrait. Notice that the bangs are a little bit zigzag, a little bit jagged. You can make a nose, two eyes, and a mouth the same way we did for our pirate or in a style that you like to do. I did very simple eyes here and just shaded them all black and I did draw the full lips. Now I am outlining my work, erasing my pencil lines, and I am going to start to color. Because Kasuma loves polka dots, I decided to put polka dots in my wig. Light pink and red. For the shirt, I did an ombre effect with colored pencil. That just means putting colors from lightest to darkest next to each other in stripes, but I overlap them a little bit. I also shaded in the rest of the wig, and since this is me, I had to do glasses. For the design in the shirt, I did a pattern of vertical lines, small polka dots, really tiny polka dots, and large polka dots. Notice that some of them are shaded in and some of them are not. It creates a neat effect over the bright ombre background. Draw horizontal lines all the way across and begin filling them in with zigzags. Fill in every single line with zigzags so it looks like you have a bunch of triangles. And then you're all done. You have three choices for this project. Don't forget to share your work.